Hello there all my friends, subscribers, non-subscribers, and trolls alike. Welcome. I hope you're having a fantastic day or night, wherever you are in the world. Thanks for uh, clicking on my uh, notification. Or, if you're watching it later, thanks. Okay? I... Oh, I'm researching so much into the timeline. It takes so long. Anyway... What I got here is the, the uh, this of uh, peace signs. Okay, yeah, it's this. And, you know, the signs and the symbols are everywhere we look. And it's been said if only man knew what the signs and symbols were, he would understand. Okay, so, so look, I'm having one of those days wanting to hit my head on a wall because, sh you know, stupidity. People are all well-meaning, but they have no clue about history and they lack free education because the masters have made it that way throughout the centuries. But I personally feel my generation is the most clueless ones because they don't know they have been fed with lies, lies, lies and utter nonsense. So much money and public relations clout has been invested in these People worship all kinds of idols, whether they admit it or not. Now, money is an idol, whether you like to admit it or not. It's a idol, and people go on about they need this or they need that, and I have to work to get this. It's idolizing money, and your life will be run by money. Or debt. Anyway, going on. It is very sad to watch that whenever the famous... So personal celebrity does something they follow. The te television is also filled with this. It is all this and this. Stop following Satan, Lucifer, Lucifer um, this, this one, and these, etc, 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 like a drugged monkey. Evil, evil, evil. The masters just make sure to make it very attractive, though through the years. Money does that. Don't be deceived. Now, the reason I'm not saying certain words is is when you uh, make a video and it's published, if you say certain words, the AI algorithm picks it up and the video won't get sh showed. I mean, I've got videos that just won't crack 100, <laughs> even 80. Um, lucky to crack 60, some of them. Okay, remember symbolism? It's a pitch language. And a picture is worth a thousand words. Now, remember, I made a video the other day and I shared the uh, picture with the uh, emojis showing the symbolism. Uh, how alike the language is becoming. And an actual fun fact, you know, 3.1 uh, billion people in the world use emojis daily. So now uh, emojis has actually overcome the English language as the most used universal language in the world. And that's quite a scary thought, considering most people don't know what emojis are. I'll show you quickly. Okay, so this is a meme I had for my thumbnail now profile picture the other day of the video. And it just shows you that, yes, 4,000 years later, we're back to the same language. And some of this language you can actually see, like if you look here, this is an aeroplane. It's It's got a wing, it's tail. Um, there's, t there's other ones where there's tanks, there's ships, there's helicopters, there's boats, there's so much that, uh, people have overlooked with the the hieroglyphs. They've never paid any attention to it. And you know, each year Unicode releases videos about the uh, the six uh, sixty emojis. So I say videos. Uh, sixty emojis are released each year. Sorry, my cat was just about to walk across the computer, but yeah, sixty are released each year, and they have a consortium of a private company mainly of Twitter, Facebook and a few other private companies that get together and decide on what will be released as the universal language.
so if you just did a search of that, you know, that phrase emojis like e Egyptian hieroglyphs and you will find thousands upon thousands of images, memes that are showing a similarity between the two. Now, I have made a previous video in which I have shown that the emojis are basically demonic. Okay, it's from the 26th of June, 2020, uh, after, you know, I said to people, you know, that I, I knew they were bad, I just didn't know why, but I knew they were, and um, when my daughter gave me her old phone, I actually deleted the whole emoji set of keyboards and never had them in your phones really and I detest them in a way because it's basically going to teach a younger generation of children you know uh, a shorter way of communicating with fellow fellow human humans and yet I feel they're going to forget their own language in the process of it or they're going to lose parts of their language because they're following, you know, what, what everyone else is doing. 3.1 billion humans are using it. So basically emojis were originally owned by King Solomon, the same King Solomon that wrote the Book of Psalms. And I think he wrote another book as well, but he wrote the Book of Psalms. And when um, the Queen approached Queen of Sheba approached him for something I, I can't remember quite what it was, but um, she gave him I think it was six hundred and sixty six talents of gold, of course, and he gave her the book, and in the book it contained these mainly what these are uh, and these were basically symbols interdimensional telephone numbers if you want to call it that they would use in their witchcraft to try and bring these demons upon them to help them and they had different demons for different uh, scenarios of what help they needed and they all had their own talents and they, of course, have to use people to to get to this place. So, but uh, I'll leave the link in the description about this video. I just quickly showed <clears throat> what they are. It's not a long video, seven minutes sixteen seconds, but shows you the different emojis that are in the book. And you know, you could probably predict what next five to ten years, maybe sixty a year. There's thousands upon thousands of them in the book, you know, and it, it, you're probably doing a chapter each year of the book, if you work it out like that, only what's in each chapter, uh, because each chapter has an explanation of the seal and what, what force it is and etc. So that's what they look like in the book. And so that's what they look like, and this is how they're translated now. So this is the problem, this is why I don't like emojis, and I will not use emojis. If someone does use emojis, of course, I'm not going to harp on about it. I just ask them if they're aware of what emojis are, and tell them if they choose to continue to use them, that's their prerogative. It's not my choice to tell someone or force someone but um yeah signs and symbols rule this world and it's satan as well so that's that one and i'll show you one more quickly while we're on this topic okay at this video i made it's around the same time 2020 in june and this is about the vatican hall where the pope sits and preaches to the masses and how it's a snake and at the end of the hall there's that statue when the Pope sits there and the Baphomet when you
put a line down the middle of this image and mirror the two closer together, you get a different image. So, and similar to the Denver one dying, the bloke that made this sculpture died as he was making it as well. So that's how it would normally look. And the Swiss Guard have been the ones that were for hire, always with the, the Roman Empire. They were always the most, most trusted with the Holy See religious suits. So this image will turn pretty freaky in a second. Let's have a look. There you go. So you got your So that's that one. So it's a star fort. It has um the key as well. So the statue's called the resurrection. <laughs> a quick it's a picture that everyone knows and it's the Last Supper and here I'm talking about where the border has that little black and white Islamic in it as you know that the painter was a bit, bit of a cryptic painter that used to leave uh, lots of easter eggs in their pictures and of course this one is also another image that you can mirror and also has a music scale in it down the bottom here if you put your lines for your notes and then you have music of the Last Supper or could be a speech or a word but when you split this image down the middle you get the same now don't say to me this is heresy I'm just pointing out a fact I'm not you know going against views I'm just saying this is what it turns into and that is all around the borders. Please don't get um, frustrated, upset, angry with me. I do this to try and share some information so you can try and put the pieces of the puzzle back together since we've all been confused and lost. Okay, so I won't continue on with that. Let's get back to where we were. I'll leave a link in the description. Okay, so remember symbolism is a picture language and a picture is worth a thousand words. So I'm going to have to clean this up for you. Kids, if you truly want a global change, then you need to change. Deprogram from everything that you know and believe. Dear program 1, the peace and hand signal. The signal actually began as a symbol of benediction during the rituals. The sign has been used by this guy, this guy, this guy, and this guy, this guy, this guy said that the sign stood for victory, but remember that one of the insider elite and a mason, he most likely knew the evil significance of this symbol, but tried to give it a facelift. The V sign was a very colourful history. The V is a Roman sign for the number five, and this guy used it in the to symbolize the law of five, but there is more in the the meaning for the Hebrew letter or five van is nail now the nail is one of the secret titles of within the brotherhood of, and he is letting us know that this is one of his favorite signs. Why else does he like the pentagram? Enter five and five told salute used in masonry and witchcraft. Furthermore, the leftists, radicals, and 
who have popularized that sign, you know the ancient significance very well. In fact, the V sign is now used extensively by such as the and these. <coughs> so, <coughs> deprogram two, the piece. Vulcan symbol. Another hand symbol is a Vulcan sign. It's supposed to mean long live and prosper, and it can be seen on Star Trek. And I pointed this out with that Greg Hallett. He was doing this symbol, and I knew I pointed it out. The Vulcan is a sun deity who is associated with fire, thunderbolts, and light. The festival of honor of, of him was called the Vulcana, in which human sacrifices were offered. He bears a family relationship to the Christian devil. It's fascinating to know that he married Venus, another name for Lucifer or the devil. And what's even more interesting is Vulcan is adored in the masonry under the name of Tubal Cain. The Masonic quiz book, the question is asked, who was? The answer is, he is the Vulcan of the pagans. I don't like saying names, I don't like to curse myself. I rebuke these words. In masonry, this guy is the name of the password for the master, master mason of the degree. When the mason learns that the key to the warrior on the book is the proper application of the dynamo of the living power, he has learned the mastery of his craft, the seething energies of in his most hands, and before he may step onward and upward, he must prove his ability to properly apply the energy. He must follow in the footsteps steps of his forefather, who many with the mighty strength of the this guy hammered in the sword of his plow sphere. This guy. Though so you see this all the time everywhere. There is also a sexual connotation associated with this guy and this guy. For these guys who wish to conceal their memberships for non people. These still advise, but still advertise it to their lodge brothers. There is a special pin, or a tie tack they wear. It looks like an upside down golf club which has two balls near the top. Many people assume the person is golfing enthusiasm, but is actually the visual pun. This is called the two ball cane as a pun on the secret password of the Master Mason. It also has an all too obvious pun on the god of masonry as a male reproductive organ. Nicer. Especially when men, many men wear these wretched things to church on Sunday. Former Mason. So I repeat these words I'm saying. I hate saying this. Deep Program 3, the PCP symbol. Known as the peace sign throughout the 1960s and into the present day, this symbol is of the Teutonic ruin of death. The 1950s peace advocate, Gerald Holtham, was commissioned by the to sell the designer symbol to unite these people in 1958, and it's clear that either deemed the Teutonic neurotic cross as the appropriate symbol for their cause, Throughout the last 2,000 years, the symbol has designed, designated hatred of Christians. Nero, who despised Christian, crucified the Apostle Peter on a cross head downward. This hideous event resembled the Teutonic Cross and became a popular pagan insignia of the day. Therefore, the sign became known as the Neuronic Cross. The symbol's origin in history proves it to be a visual mystery character for the um, the split Y and the sacred words to the Hindu chanting. It's supposed to help awaken the serpent power of Brahma at the base of the human spine. This guy, occultus, also identifies this symbol in the mystical in his book on the Freemasonry moles and dogmas. Note is connected to the father of the New Age movement. This guy, why do you think there is a prolification of yoga, chakra, etc., with the 
And yeah, yoga isn't as good as people think either. Deprogram four, the broken cross peace symbol. The peace symbol, also called the broken cross, crow's, crow's foot, witch foot, nero cross, sign of a broken Jew, the sign of an antichrist, is actually the cross with the arms broken and it signifies a gesture of despair and death of man. In Germanic tribes, it was used to attribute the strange and mystical properties to the signs, such as ruin, is said to have been used by black magicians in pagan incantation and condemnations to this very day. The inverted burnt cross identical to the peace symbol known in Germany as the Jewish shrine or death room. Not only is it ordered by that it must appear on the German death notices, but it was also of the official inscription prescribed for the gravestones of the Nazi officers of the Trinity SS. The symbol suited the emphasize, emphasis on pagan mysticism. Below are a few examples on how the peace symbol is being used. So the peace uh, Pythagorean symbol with the coat of arms of cross raised in an upright position. It is a Pythagorean emblem on the course of life. In the form of the raising path of the work roads to the good and evil, it signifies fertility, but with the arms pointing downward, it denotes the evil and death. In fact, the inverted man rune is a figure encircled in a common sign which can tell you means peace has for century been a favourite sign of so but this one goes back to Indian times and it's all over Indian temples up and down the street. It's actually in Chinese culture, it's Indian culture, it's everywhere. So and this guy, the founder of the Church of Satan, is the peace symbol as the backdrop for his altar. It is an ancient and powerful symbol of the Antichrist. During the Dark Ages, it was used to intrude witchcraft, and by Satanists, the world sought during the initiation of a new member to the Order. They would draw a magic circle line and give it an initiate across. The initiate would then lift the cross and turn it upside down. He would then renounce Christianity on all three dimensions of time, past, present, and future, and break the horizontal pieces down when forming the design of the raven's foot. The ugly symbol is nothing short of blasphemy against the Holy Ghost. For one to wear or display the symbol is to announce, either knowingly or unknowingly, that you have rejected the real light, that source. This, okay, since this my, is very new to me, we will make it understandable as Christ. But Jesus never pointed to himself. He pointed everyone back to the source, the Father of all. I call him Daddy or this. Needless to say, those of you supporting those pretty much are in the cahoots with the arrogant and my prideful celestial being, who is my eternal enemy, for he thinks he is the master of the universe when he is not. It all got to his head. He has lots of ego. Now that you are taught this, you cannot anymore say that you didn't know. Wake up for your ignorance. Knowledge is power. Only when you truly have real knowledge, only then can we conquer all the wrong things that have happened on our planet. If you really want hand signals, you can use these. These are the ones I have selected for my kind of peace movement, each of which of them may well, you know well, will know in the future. Yeah, see, this is the devil sign. and So all of these signs are those signs he's talking about. Okay, so if you're still with me at the end here, I would like to say thank you very much. I appreciate your time, and I hope I helped expand something and help you learn something, because these symbols are everywhere. Okay, wherever you are in the world, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, good night, much love, raise your vibrations. Thanks for watching. Bye.